Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sean Dean. I'm uh, one of the, your uh, colleagues, uh, inshallah, and uh, one of the employees and one of the openers at Wisdom Corp. In today's video, we will be talking about the most important uh, factors or what's one of the most important aspects that need to be taken care of once you start working with us as an opener. Uh, I wouldn't like to go into some uh, deep introduction about what exactly we're going to do, but generally speaking, what we'll cover today in this video is uh, the first steps or the first tips that will be given to you in order to help you to adapt uh, during your first days uh, at Wistec. And of course, as anything else, we'll be talking about some basic things and some a bit more complicated things that are related to the industries, how we dial and how we get the leads. But let's start everything uh, one by one. And without further ado, let's start with the one of the basic things, Lahia El Email. As you can see, this is uh, my personal account. This is the account that we use, Sean Dean at WISDIC. Everyone will be given uh, a personal email that will be used for uh, communication. The communication is of course internal communication, which we use uh, with one another. And of course, most importantly, the communication that we have uh, with our clients. Uh, mainly the communication that happens with the clients is uh, sending email. We don't, of course, uh, have any other form of communication with them. But at the same time, the email, as much as it's simple, uh, however, at the same time, it is uh, very crucial and very important. Why? Because every single communication that will happen between you and the client has to be recorded, documented. And this is why we have the email. And you should have it open 24-7 once you join WISDIC because uh, there will be some information given out to you in terms of templates. Have a few templates about the Liku. Uh, email templates clients, some information that is going to be useful to you. Uh, there is a part of the chat which is the hangouts. This is as well very important uh, because you will have the chance to see who is online. Uh, so uh, your colleagues, your openers, or uh, the, the, the uh, managerial staff. Uh, the manager uh, is of course James Daniels. There are of course some other managers and supervisors that I will be available with you on site for the office or from home. So you'll find them available if you have anything to ask, anything you'd like to ask about quickly without interrupting anything. You can do this uh, basically using the Hangouts. So uh, basically this is very important. Uh, I know it's, it sounds very basic, but you will understand the importance once you uh, start working and once you start receiving emails. As you can see, I have tons of emails uh, from James, from others in the company. I have uh, the important emails that uh, are coming in from clients. So this is basically very and very important. Another thing which is going to be important uh, in the email or in the Gmail itself, and Arif Neskitira Taban, they like to use the sticky notes when they take notes about any single thing. Uh, it's important to take notes, but at the same time, it's important to keep these notes with you wherever you go, because for different reasons, you might uh, migrate from one PC to another, from one station to the other. So in order for you not to lose all the information you wrote down, it's important to use this thing, which is called Google Keep. It's the same thing as uh, the uh, the or the normal sticky notes, which you can see once it opens here. Yes, of course this is it. We can maximize it. It's going to open in a new window. Barahitku, whatever makes you comfortable. Just at the same time, it's important for you uh, to uh, to have this because it will be with you on your Gmail account, no matter where you go, no matter where you are. I have just uh, one or two things uh, mentioned here in, in, uh, in, in the notes, but so you can write down any note, anything which will be with you with your Gmail account. This is the first thing that you need to know. Uh, if some of you have worked in different organizations, you already know the importance of the email. Well, I can allow if it's your first time to be making use of any kind of emails. You have to consider that this is basically important. You have to have it open uh, basically 24 seven. 
طبعا as James has already told you uh, we have different shifts different uh, time zones that we work with mainly um, uh, four time zones we're talking about uh, US uh, and Canada this is uh, one shift and of course the other shift is Australia and New Zealand uh, this is why we need to bear in mind uh, the importance of the timing importance of where and how do we call people and basically to catch them at the right time for the businesses to be open or on the other hand businesses not to be uh, shut if we're talking after hours so uh, let's uh, do a very basic thing uh, let's basically move on to uh, the issue of the time zones let's start with Canada it's uh, quite simple and at the same time it's going to be informative for you to be able to know uh, which cities and which places to dial we can write down Canada time zone map of course you will find different websites uh, me personally as you can see I used uh, some of them before uh, for instance uh, this is a small map uh, maybe it will not reflect uh, the whole thing but of course we will describe it uh, later on uh, in, in much more details it's just an overview for you to see how many time zones are there in Canada uh, Atlantic time zone this is the I believe the only time zone that we don't actually use or uh, concentrate on uh, we are basically sticking with one two uh, three and of course four these are the four time zones so if US or in Canada these are the time zones that we concentrate at because as you can see here uh, all the times are given uh, Eastern time of course as you can see there is a difference between them uh, it jumps from uh, e from each and every single time uh, East time zone one hour in uh, Quebec which is located in the Eastern time zone and let's say uh, BC the British Columbia there are uh, one two three three hours difference so uh, let's move on a bit into some sort of detail because this will be able to help you or give you much better information of the cities because this will be much more uh, informative as you can see Canada United States one above the other uh, the time zones are the same however if the United States is divided into 50 different states uh, which we will not discuss in details because uh, the, for instance one state of Texas has uh, six, uh, five or six cities, major cities which we work with uh, this will be given out to you in much more detail on site but let's give you the idea of the time zones through Canada because it will not take long time and at the same time will give you basically uh, the information that you need to know as we said we have Canada Mabda'in is divided into provinces uh, we can say it's province or we can say that it's a state uh, this one we don't concentrate with our main ones we work with are Quebec, Ontario, uh, Alberta and British Columbia they are not as important for one main reason which I will mention a bit later on first of all Quebec just for you to be on the same page we're gonna open the populated cities for you to understand what cities are we concentrating at and what cities you need to be working on once you uh, basically arrive at Wizard Canada cities by population we can open this one uh, basic Wikipedia uh, we open basically for us to be having this on the same page okay so as you can see here of course the date is uh, 2016 but uh, which nothing has changed since 2016 the main cities remain uh, at top uh, 15 or top 20 cities so basically we can work on them uh, quite easily although it data deep that so uh, as we said we start from the eastern time zone Quebec which is this one and we can see that we have one or two major cities in Quebec which is Quebec City itself and Montreal uh, 
first of all اول حاجه على طول we don't work with Quebec City لسبب ان هم كلهم French speaking so uh, unless you have a good French <laughs> you're welcome to dial them uh, however we don't use it because 100% of it it's uh, French speaking uh, we work with Montreal because Montreal هي 50-50 في of course French وفي طبعا uh, English you will have, have websites having both of the languages so it's fine to work uh, with them and at the same time if you take a look at the population center هتلاقوا Montreal is located at uh, the second spot which means that it's one of the largest cities in Canada and you can see 3 million and a half of course this number has risen uh, there's a gap of 5 years but at the same time it will give you an indication that this is one of the largest cities in uh, Canada and basically the ones that we concentrate at uh, moving on we have Ottawa which is in the province of Ontario this is basically the second province and uh, as you can see here we can have Ottawa it's called Ottawa Gatino because uh, of the river it's divided into two parts but so mainly we call it Ottawa we don't call it uh, the Gatino area as well there are some people who speak French and I'm going to the ratio for Montreal is 50 50 it's here 75 percent English and 25 percent French the same idea one of the largest uh, populations as you can see uh, and this means that this is something that we can work with and this is the second city once we start working at 4 o'clock at 10 a.m. so here we have 10 a.m. 10 a.m. which means that all of the businesses are operating moving on we have uh, the largest population center in the whole Canada area which is Toronto and the GTA area Toronto as, this, as you can see this is the uh, this is the city and the surrounding cities are in the greater Toronto area the GTA uh, as you can see Toronto this city is pronounced as Mississauga Brampton Vaughan Richmond Hill Markham uh, we have Oakville Burlington Hamilton and the small area this is called Kitchener and areas D uh, not all businesses of course operate in this whole area and here geographically uh, so this is why s large companies concentrate at this whole area which is the GTA area some of them concentrate in different cities uh, this is one of the main centers or main cities that we have clients from or we get clients from logically it's the largest uh, city that is there in Canada the uh, three cities that uh, Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, they are in the eastern time zone. As you can see, they are here in the orange. And uh, this is basically the, sh the we start our shift by working on the eastern time zone. Moving on, uh, we have uh, two uh, another provinces, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Uh, when I ultimately we skipped them in the very beginning and this is the part where I'll explain why Latin uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba if we go to the list of 100 uh, populated cities we have Saskatchewan and its capital center is Saskatoon uh, as you can see the number of uh, the population which is 250 uh, this is not the best uh, city to dial because it's very low populated and it's very very uh, hard to find clientele there for this is why automatically we skip it uh, in the province of Tanya here Manitoba we have a city called Winnipeg at Winnipeg D as you can see it's pretty high on the list and the population is is quite high best we don't have we barely have any kind of clients there let's have a blend home yani as a community they are a bit closed they don't really do have uh, a lot of business opportunities yani masalan if if 2 years ago we 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 worked with uh, or we were looking for specific companies humma humma nafs companies mawuda barely anything uh, comes up barely any new business appears wa humma kulku yani kull haga bitatamil within winnipeg nothing goes out so this is why we don't concentrate at it uh, although this doesn't mean that you cannot work on it but at, at the very beginning, of course, once you join the company, we do not advise you to work on it because it's going to be a waste of time. Bardo. However, it's much harder to get uh, prospects from there. Uh, moving on, we have 
the province of Alberta, two main cities, Calgary and Edmonton. As you can see here, this is Calgary, this is Edmonton, again with Ninwarabad, one million plus population, one of the uh, as well biggest cities in Canada, and of course good for business. Uh, however, uh, it has a difference in time. احنا كلنا كنا بنتكلم على الحته دي which is the eastern time zone and as you can see here they are located in Alberta which is the a mountain time zone and as you can see the mountain time zone في فرق ما بينهم وما بين ال uh, eastern time حوالي ساعتين uh, this gets back to another issue which is uh, the hours of operation for each and every single business businesses usually operate from 9 a.m to 5 a.m. Uh, 5 p.m. sorry or 6 p.m. depending on the nature of the business well again there is one uh, hour that you need to take care of lahua lunch time or the uh, time where people go to lunch which is usually from 12 to 1 for any city Edmonton Calgary Hama Canada Mrs. Timin of Soma Nahua they have the lunch time and US by the way as well and uh, from 12 to 1 you will barely find anyone so if you have anyone from 12 to 1 you're dialing a city, you should take care of the time. As you can see here in the Eastern time, right now it's 12.30. So if we speak to anyone in Toronto, Montreal or Ottawa Gatineau area, the cities that we have discussed, you will barely find anyone for lunch. So uh, dial wisely, work smartly and don't call anyone within these hours. Uh, moving on, we have the last province, Lahia, British Columbia, or here mainly Fiha City Wahda, our uh, one geographical location, which is Vancouver. Vancouver is the same, has the same idea as uh, the GTA, Lahua Fi, one main city, with Fi City Stania Hawaleha. In case of Toronto, it was called the GTA, Lahia Greater Toronto Area. In case of uh, Vancouver, it's called uh, the Lower Mainland. Vancouver, Richmond, Burnaby, Surrey, Coquitlam. Uh, we have Surrey and Langley. A Botsford, a Bordeaux, yani it's something you can work on. Uh, this is basically the thing. Again, take care of the times. Take care of uh, the where where you're dialing. Basically, for you not to uh, waste your time on uh, on the voicemails. Uh, this is basically the issue with the cities. Yani, uh, it's just a small and brief insight for you to know how we select the cities and the where are the locations we work with type uh, once uh, we have selected the cities of course we need to make our calls what are the cities that we work with it's logic for us to pick the industries and to pick uh, basically uh, the uh, the the numbers of how exactly we're going to work uh, on on and how to get and grab leads from google which will be basically we'll jump in for this right now So as we said, we're going to be looking into the uh, the industries, how to dial, how to pick the numbers and how to make the most important thing during our work as an opener specifically is the frequency. And then I'm going to make as much as calls possible because this will help me to get and speak to as much as possible business owners and reach out to as much as number of businesses as I can. However, let's take everything step by step. Uh, model industries, uh, model, yani, uh, it's it's a very uh, maybe for me it's an easy thing but before I go into it I want you to understand that we have mainly a top 15 or 20 industries معظمهم uh, طبعا contractors contractors are هم ايه اللي هم small to mid sized businesses mainly uh, with uh, basically a couple of crews a couple of crews or a couple of teams that that they work with من الاخر كده the s ME or the small medium sized business uh, one owner or two owners uh, two partners and uh, a group of 5, 10, 15 employees the, uh, the business itself does not go further uh, or more than 15 to 20 employees uh, and at the same time this means that we don't concentrate with multinational corporations يعني, if we open a website and we find that they have 2, 3, 4, 5 locations, 5 branches then this is most probably not fit for us because 
uh, we wouldn't say no of course to their business but in order for them to have a communication with us it's going to be a bit more confusing ليه لان هناك مش بيبقى في اونر واحد بيبقى في بورد اوف دايركتورز والبورد اوف دايركتورز دي لازم تعمل معانا ميتنج اند وي هاف تو سبيك تو ا سكرتري اند ذن اسيستنت ذا بيرسونال اسيستنت والحاجات دي كلها ات تيكس تايم اند بيزيكلي وي هاف نيفر سكسيدد ان جيتنج ا لارج كوربوريشن so this is why we don't concentrate on them uh, let's start with a very brief example plumbing services let's say Toronto ممكن الاكزامبل ده يبقى غريب شويه plumbing business or the plumber itself لو سباك i know understand that the plumber in egypt يعني ما فيش طبعا ما عندوش ويب سايت وما عندوش الحاجات دي كلها بس ان كندا things are a bit or Canada and United States things are a bit more different plumbers electricians cleaning companies uh, people who do flooring الناس اللي بتعمل kitchen renovation any kind of renovation in general kitchen basement uh, bathroom اي الناس اللي بتبيع الفاوسيتس اللي هم الحوض بتاع الميه الناس دي كلها every single business has a website because for them it's essential to grab customers through google it's essential for them to grab and find customers with google because they concentrate on uh reviews as particular reviews they concentrate on reviews they want to see what kind of reviews each and every single company has so a plumber a cleaning company electrician يعني any kind of physical work through hands it's cost much it's very profitable and at the same time uh, people are willing to pay good money for good service so this is why they all of these people have websites apart from plumbers people fee business as i said it's a 15 to 20 uh, services that we have plumbing anything related to renovation anything related to cleaning lower commercial cleaning anything related to uh, auto glass repair bardo mechanikaya yani maybe for 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 us here in egypt it's very uh, strange for companies to have these websites but we understand that uh, this is basically how things work in canada so uh, once we have selected an industry khalina nishrah kull haga an tariq al plumbing industry of course people that are located on the first page it's not logic to call them because they are already on the first page so we go to page two and we do the following thing three or four websites at the same time why three and four websites at the same time uh, and I advise you to to open even more but uh, the example on the websites uh, as we said in the very beginning the whole thing or the whole success of the work depends on the number of calls هي بيبقى في equation كده أي حد جديد بيجي الشركة which was given to me as an advice to me and uh, one of my colleagues uh, in at WISDIC uh, more calls equal more customers equal more transfers equal more deals so this means that you should be able to contact as much as people as possible in order to make the maximum output so in order to do it بتعمل حاجة بسيطة جدا first of all once you open a couple of websites you go down and this is highlighted by the way we take it copy we go to each and every single website and we highlight the numbers not even these are the same okay no problem okay once we have done so we open skype this is the way it looks account and you will press here to open the dial panel and you will enter the number and you will click call and the call will proceed once you're done with the call this is basically why we opened a couple of websites uh, right away in order for you to close it once you have done copy and paste the other number to come here to remove this one to paste and to call again this is how you'll be able to make as much as calls frequent as possible and we are on the last tab let's say tab number four or five we do copy and we paste it and we do the call and we go back to our initial page and we go below and we open 
another two websites. So while we are on the phone with Dwayne King Plumbers, other websites will open and we will do the same operation and Nahna Nuhushala a website. Yani excuse me if I'm scrolling down to the very bottom. Munkin Namili Emma because most of the numbers are listed below or Munkin the click ala contact us. Mozam al website say Panta ha contact us low Mishla in the Rakam. You will press the contact us page and it will direct you to uh, another one which will have the numbers. Uh, yani most of the numbers either are at the very bottom, at the very top, or through contact us page. So while we are finishing here, we can go highlight the other numbers. So once we're done, we can basically uh, talk to other people. This is the way we maximize the number of calls and we maximize the number uh, of people that we talk to. How do we start the phone or how do we start the uh, conversation? Hello, my name is, let's say, James. I'm calling from Whistler Corp. May I speak to the owner of the business? Of course, the script and everything will be given out to you. That's uh, just for you to know. This is basically the way it should go. Uh, hi, my name is Keza and I'm calling in reference to the marketing or hi, can I speak to the owner all at all? This is both of the options work. This is basically uh, when it comes to uh, making calls. Type another scenario is that you have spoken to someone and this person and with a shit what it get done I asked my cook here and people are willing to be given a call back a call back the uh, it's important because first of all you have it's it, this means that the person is actually because you called and you said you're calling in reference to the marketing and he asked you to call back let's say at four at three or five uh, we already covered the issue of uh, the cities and the times for you should be able to know what time is 5 a.m. Eastern what time is it 5 a.m. Mountain time uh, Allah has a city that you are working with so once you are asked to be called back let I will have as I'm not we use Google keep Google keep is the thing that we used to take notes and here alternative but that uh, sticky notes so we take a note and يعني it's just an example كل واحد طبعا حر براحته يعمل اللي هو uh, اللي هو يعجبه بس it's just a hint for you to know what exactly to do call back or on the other hand you can write the website name مثلا uh, ABC plumbing ABC plumbing or even much easier you can take the copy paste for the website وخلاص important thing is that you take another additional things which is the business owner's name what is the name because when you call back and you don't have the business name this gives an indication and this is not good in order to continue the conversation because if someone tells you to call back you call back and say hi I'm talking to the owner this is not good this the the fact that you have the business owner's name will give credibility and ninta already you have spoken to him and you should refer to what you spoke to which means that refer referring to what you spoke about this is the way you should be able to call back the callback script but the way you should do it is hi my name is sean dean i'm calling back from wisdom corp in reference to the conversation we had about Google marketing or Google AdWords or SEO. Allah has been to Kalim to A. So again, hello John, hello whatever the business owner's name is, um, calling from Wistec Corp in reference to the conversation we had earlier today. Am I calling at a good time? Or you told me to get back to you at five. Am I calling at a good time? This is basically the way you should be calling back. Very brief, very short, and at the same time to the point. Type. This is in case, yani, as we said, we use the sticky notes uh, in most conditions, but at the same time, uh, my personal advice is that you use the sticky notes for something that's going to happen today or what's going to happen tomorrow. Yani, haga short term. But what if there are people that want to be given a call back on the long run? This is why Anna Shahsayan, yani, I created a list of or a database, let's say, of uh, clients that I speak to, which, as you can see, is uh, obtained through the Google Drive. And you, uh, there are Google Apps. You click on it, you open Google Drive, which will open uh, 
Wotawan, yani as you can see, there are tons of uh, Excel sheets, uh, PDFs, the industries, uh, scripts, uh, and of course, as you can see, April 2018, April 2019, August 2018. El, uh, these are basically the list of people that I spoke to in these months. So you can create yourself an Excel sheet. Yani لو لقيت مثلا you spoke to someone and he asked you to call you him back in a week. Yani it ما رفش if it's if it's okay for you to keep it through the Google Keep or the sticky notes اللي موجودة هنا. Please do. أي حد يعمل اللي هو عايزه أهم حاجة الموضوع يبقى organized. Uh, you can do it from here just in case you want to know it. Click new. And you can do either Google document sheet. Uh, mainly these are the things that we uh, that I personally I use in order to create the document and you will find later on uh, sticky notes bizarre. you will find it in your Gmail or or basically the drive uh, uh, this is basically another indication for you not to save anything on your PC uh, this is the issue of the how to uh, how to basically run uh, the the Gmail type another issue uh, or another thing we need to concentrate at is uh, when we leave a message طبعاً, because of the nature of the work or because of the nature of a uh, business voicemails voicemails are essential because uh, at the end of the day some people some clients might get back to you through the voicemail طبعاً, uh, معظم الناس اللي هتيجي هتلاقي الموضوع it's, it's a bit irrelevant بس uh, definitely you will have people calling you back هيبقى في أرقام بترن بتتصل بيكو because asking for your name because you called in reference to something in reference to marketing أيوة هيبقى في percentage من الناس طبعا that have not listened to your voicemail هما بس هيلاقوا رقم اتصل ف they call back thinking that it's a client or thinking it's someone who wants a service بس you never know me personally, I had a couple of deals, a couple of people that I brought into the company. voicemail. So leaving a voice message, and I just have to the note. Leaving a voice message or a voicemail. It has to be very short and at the same time to the point. An average of 20 to 30 seconds. Lee, because it has to be uh, giving a message. What is the message or why are you giving them a call? So ideally, in order for the message to be complete and to the point, you can say, hi, this is Sean from Wistep Corp. I am calling in reference to the Google advertising please call me back once you have my message my number is and you give out your number and of course a thank you at the very end uh, you may find the similarity between this and between uh, how you make the call hi this is Sean from Mr. Corp I'm looking for the owner or I'm calling in reference to the marketing, can I speak to the owner? It's basically the same. So the same message or the same uh, effect should be in your voice message. 20 to 30 seconds to the point why exactly you're calling. There is no need for you to leave a message, a long message, which will say that you're calling from Wistic, I'm calling about your organic marketing, I'm calling about this or about that. If the person is interested, if there is uh, someone who wants to know more about what you called about, they will be giving you a call. That's basically the thing with uh, with the voicemail. All right. So since we covered the the messages, uh, or basically how to leave a voice message, and we talked about how to uh, talk on the phone, or basically the brief introduction on the phone, uh, how to leave uh, the uh, how to call back, how to schedule a call back and how to basically uh, call back and what is basically the, f the key phrase that we should use while calling back uh, it's somehow related the messaging هي sending emails طبعاً, as we said in the very beginning there is going to be uh, a template or a couple of templates that will be shared with you for you to send them to the clients 
However, في نقطة مهمة قبل الكلام ده كله which is the part of the introduction which we'll be covering today or covering right now because uh, it's very important to write down again anything we do in our work has to be to the point and simple if it's not done on the phone on the phone blacks يعني we need to concentrate on uh, the amount of information يعني طول ما الراجل بيتكلم or طول ما the client is talking this is good or when you're describing and he's listening this is good but we can't actually write all of this information in the email so we have to be precise لأن they receive tons of emails on a daily basis we need to write something that is going to be short and at the same time eye catchy خلينا يعني let's type in as if I'm going to write to James as if he is a client or as if I'm sending it to him and the subject line the subject line could be very different it could be your name and the topic Google advertising all right it could be something very different it could be again your name with the corp or it could be simply with the corp without anything it could be with the corp Google marketing anything that will just give an indication and ninta isma kaza or you are writing from a specific organization but khalil and ul it's with the court so as we said when we send an email or we uh, are scheduling a callback we take the person's name falatul hello mike or if i'm writing to james in this case hello james this is sean from Wistec. I hope my email finds you well. Moving on, as per the conversation we had about the and the thing that you had the conversation about, which is most probably we can put it under Google Marketing, or if he specified or we you specified about SEO or AdWords, you can you have to mention it for him to be able to remember whom he spoke to. I am sending some information below where you can find what we do in our, as we said, let's say it's SEO campaign. And of course, according to what you spoke to him about, if he said that send me an email and I'll call you back. This means that kindly evaluate all the information and reach me back at any point of time. Again, things might differ if you had uh, a different ending. If he said that send me an information and follow up with me, let's say next Monday. So it would be kindly evaluate the information and as we agreed i will be reaching you back monday at let's say 7 pm so again this is just an example this is just a very brief thing for you to know and this is basically the way you should write an email very brief uh, we're talking about Gaza. we can bring you to the first page we can do this we can do that it's useless you have to write the email and at the same time it has to be very brief or you basically can mention and as for our conversation about the Google marketing مثلاً, we discussed getting the website on the first page of Google uh, through the search engine optimization kindly evaluate all the information I, I have included already all the information you asked for about the search engine so kindly evaluate all the information and as agreed I will be reaching you back Monday at 7 PM. So there are different scenarios, different ways, different methods. It should be to the point, not very long, because not don't forget that we have still to add uh, the, the body of the email. So this is going to be another part, or this is going to be the, the huge, the, the largest part of the email. It has to be brief, and he will basically remember what you spoke about. That's basically the thing with the email. Uh, uh, industries. 
when you are given an industry or you select an industry, it's important for you to stick with this industry as long as possible. Li. Because as we said, we have lots of cities in Canada. As we said, we have Toronto, we covered Montreal, Vancouver, Edmonton, and everything. So the way we go down the list or the way we go through the time zones, هنخلص أكيد الاندستري دي في يوم من الأيام بس at the same time if you have found that let's say in Toronto the plumbing business is not working don't switch the industry switch the location okay التورونتو دي يعني ممكن تبقى not all business owners or not all businesses that are answering switch to Calgary switch to Edmonton لقيت برضو هناك برضو not one or two three calls يعني you can do 20 25 calls لقيت الموضوع ما فيش في حد This gives you an indication that there is nobody there. Switch to uh, Kitchener or Hamilton or uh, we spoke about Vancouver. So check all the possible cities before switching the industry. Leil, and the first of all, we want you to dig deep as much as possible for industry D. So I have plumbing or any other industry that is given out to you. At the same time, you have to dig deep in every single industry before moving to the other one. That's reason uh, number one. Reason number two is uh, you're not working alone. As we said here, we have a list of people that are working with us, uh, either openers like me or closers like Lorenzo, Danny, uh, Kevin. All of these people are working as well alongside with you. So I'm back from office, are working from home. So this means that they are dialing industries as well in the same locations. So what if you switched from plumbing services to Wano? to electrical services and at the same time me or Lorenzo or any one of the uh, closers is dialing the same industry as well this create this will create a conflict Leila and at the same time you will speak to the same electrical services and this means that he will speak to two representatives from WSDIC the guy will get confused you will get confused because you will uh, have to basically check who called him first Uh, and if this is of course an interested client in order to avoid this try to make the maximum out of the industry try to make the maximum out of the uh, locations that you're working from if it doesn't work or you have finished the industry you can get back to me you can get back to James directly you can get back to Lorenzo anyone from the uh, closers he will advise you what kind of industry to select بيبقى في طبعا conditions specific conditions اللي هي مثلا الأيام دي there is a huge storm in Texas فطبيعي جدا أن nobody will work in Texas in any industry لأن في black out هناك so definitely this is an out of the box case أن هو ال city دي كده كده محدش هيكلمها because there is an outage in everything out there so stick to the industry stick to one industry try to finish it as much as you can don't jump from one industry to the other dig deep وهتعرف تلاقي ال clients uh, that are interested in the services. If not, لو أنت خلصت ال industry, this is a different case. But usually industries take an average from uh, maybe four or five days, maybe a week, depending on how large or how competitive the industry is. So uh, هي Canada or it's uh, the United States, there are basically lots of businesses. فلو حد جه قال لي أنا خلصت ال electrical services في كندا في يومين, يعني this is uh, Um, uh, yani this is not uh, acceptable because it's definitely not even possible to finish the industry uh, in in one day or two days. And this is, by the way, re regarding the all industries, the top 15 or top 20 industries that we talked about, hey, kida kida, it's impossible to finish them in two days. Yani, انت لو يعني it's uh, Elon Musk's rocket اللي بدايل. Yani, this is basically not not possible to finish. So work properly, dig deep as much as you can, and once you're done. This is the only time you can uh, you can switch or there is a specific condition the specific case for CTD so I know outage fee storm hurricane well how deep tassel but so we keep you updated once everything happens so uh, this is the only case basically where we avoid uh, calling this city or this industry in this place Um, so to to summarize the part as far as the the industries and the um, the time zones uh, and to pretty much like give you the bottom line about it so uh, the the um, the time zones like it's pretty much easy like if you are here you will dial let's say uh, US so we type down on Google most 
populated cities in US. First website. So these are the most populated cities in US. That's the city and that's the state. And we dial with the name of the city, not the state. Okay? The state اللي هي زي القاهرة, جيزة, الكلام ده. Um, uh, ال city اللي هي local اللي يعتبر local area يعني main local area. فاحنا السيرش بتاعنا بيحصل عن طريق احنا نكتب ال industry and the city uh, we are searching in. طيب ال 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 the other part ان انا ال city دي هعرف هينفع ضايلها ولا لا. It's pretty much easy. So I copy the name of the city. Let's say Los Angeles, and I type on Google "time in Los Angeles." Sakam hinek tnasher nus p.m. Yim fadail hum a. Yani within range. Iho range from nine to five. Nine a.m. to five p.m. Ay business hinek bishtal from nine to five. However, zay wardu mashan el twelve thirty. Still, that's the lunch time. Pahna yema hang kung kallimna hum nus saa. و او هنكلمهم كمان نص ساعة أه بس نفس القصة ناخد اكزامبل تاني ادي مثلا لو حد هيضايل فينيكس سو تايم ان فينيكس الساعة كام 1.40 بي ام كان يو دايل دم از ات بتوين 9 اي ام تو 5 بي ام يس يبقى ينفع نضايلهم طيب لو كتبنا مثلا موست ده اللي بيضايل استراليا populated cities in Australia Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, whatever Bardo add the most populated type Sydney Haim Farnadela Let's go to Google and type in time in Sydney Sakem 7.40 a.m. Sop Tamanya Laroba Sop Haim Farnadela Hum Delwati La And so on يبقى احنا لما بنيجي نسيرش على كي وورد او بنيجي ندور على اندستري سو وي جو تو جوجل دوت كوم اف يو ويل سيرش لو انا بضايل يو اس هجوجل هروح لجوجل دوت سي اي لو بضايل كندا هروح لجوجل دوت كوم دوت اي يو لو بضايل استراليا عشان يجيب لي اللوكال ريزلتس بتاعتها اوكي و مثلا ده جوجل دوت كوم دوت اي يو وهتايب ان ذا تو ثينجز الاندستري واللوكيشن يعني هكتب مثلا بلمر ووراها سيدني هلاقي الريزلتس بتاعتي طبعا زي ما احنا متفقين او الريزلتس المكتوب جنبيها اي دي which is a sponsored ad عادي هينفع نضايلهم برضو بس these people are doing adwords يا إما هكابي النمبر لو أنا شايفه من هنا يا إما I go to each and every website عندنا هنا الماب سكشن هينفع نضايلهم yes هينفع نضايلهم برضو النمبر يا إما أخده كده يا إما أفتح الويب سايت and that's the beginning of the natural placements برضو هينفع أفتح الويب سايت زي ما شان قال مش هبدأ من natural placements مش هبدأ من page number one so I go to page number two وابدأ أضايل natural placements طبعا دول مكتوب جنبيهم ADAD دول برضو sponsor links طيب هفضل أروح ل page number two three or four or five or six or seven وطبعا كل page هبقى عندها هعمل right click open new tab open new tab open new tab أو ما وصل الصفحة كده افتح لي 5 to 10 websites عشان يقعدوا يلودوا اخد النمبرز منهم وابتدي ضايل وبعد كده اروح للبيج اللي بعديها طيب وصلت لبيج نمبر 10 20 30 وات ايفر اند ذا ريزلتس بيكيم ريليفنت هعمل ايه؟ هلعب في الكي وورد قدامي كذا حل يا اما هلعب في الكي وورد بدل ما انا كاتب بلمر سيدني هكتب انذر فاريشن اوف ذا كي وورد يعني اكتب بلمر كونتراكتر سيدني او هنا جوجل حتى بتدينا ريليتد سيرش زي بلمنج سيرفيسز سيدني اي حاجة المهم ان انا العب في الكيورد فيطلع لي ريزالتس مختلفة العب I mean with the industry او اغير السيتي ودول الحاجتين اللي هنقدر نغيرهم العب في الاندستري او العب في السيتي وزي ما شان قال في الاندستري احنا مش بنقعد نغير اندستريز كل شوية اللي بيمسك اندستري لا قدام وقت كتير جدا يفضل شغال عليها ما فيش حاجة اسمها خلصت الاندستري خلصت الاندستري انت خلصتها في كل السيتيز في كل حتة كل الويب سايتس كل البيجز and that's pretty much impossible 
احنا بقى لنا مثلا مثلا از ان اكزامبل 14 سنه شغالين على كونتراكتورز سواء بقى جنرال كونتراكتورز سواء باث روم رينوفيشن سواء كيتشن ريموديلنج سواء اي حاجه 14 سنه 14 years and we're still getting deals from them فما فيش حاجه اسمها الاندستري خلصت ولكن احنا بنقلب بنقلب في ايه في السيتيز اشوف السيتيز عامله ازاي اللي هضايلها دي يمكن ده في استراليا عشان الاكزامبل بتاع استراليا وما ننساش موضوع جوجل دوت كوم دوت اي يو لو بضايل استراليا جوجل دوت كوم لو بضايل يو اس جوجل دوت سي اي لو بضايل كندا اوكي وبنكتب الكيورد كده بلمر يعني الاندستري that's the first part of the keyword and the location is the second part of the, the keyword or the key phrase Okay, so plumber New York, plumber, uh, uh, for Texas, في, uh, Houston, مثلا, plumber Houston, and so on. What I said in the city I'm going to deal with, it's going to be able to deal with it. It's now from 9 to 5, uh, their time, their time, uh, throughout Google, as I said, we're going to write time in. عشان مش عايزين حد يسال برضو الاسئله بتاعه هي الساعه كام في كذا سو اس جوجل يعني وي ار ان ان ذس اندستري واحنا وي يوز جوجل اولموست 24/7 ف فانت جوجل نوز ذا انسرز اكيوريت انسرز على كل حاجه بس فجود لك ذس وور جاست تو سامرايز لايك ذا هول ثينج